How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood med student, and today we're going to be talking about coffee, caffeine, the active ingredient in coffee, which is supposed to give you energy and its effects on athletic performance, because I think it's a question that a lot of people have. A lot of your like exercise junkies like me uh, take some form of pre-workout supplement or um, other people might take other forms of like performance enhancing legal supplements, and a lot of them contain caffeine and uh, we're gonna talk about its effectiveness does it really work and what if you're the type of person who takes who drinks coffee every day and is kind of tolerant to it does, is it going to help you if you're new to this channel my channel is specifically focused on health literacy where I look at evidence-based research and convey that information that's straight and easy to understand for you. So I don't look at any form of like pseudoscience or anything like that. I know in the field of exercise and nutrition, there's a lot of pseudoscience here, but I'm only going to be talking about evidence-based, what the research says on coffee's active ingredient caffeine and athletic performance. As far as my credentials, I am a fourth year senior medical student here in the United States. I am literally two months away from getting all my requirements to get my MD certificate to be a licensed physician in the very, very near future. But also in addition to being a medical student, I am a researcher. I've published before and I've presented nationally in conferences. So if, if that gives you any bit of credibility on my expertise in talking about this. I will say I am not a sports medicine expert. I am not an orthopedics expert, but I do read a lot of research studies and I do interpret it for a living for my patients, but also on my YouTube channel for my viewers. So let's talk a little bit about the research behind caffeine and athletic performance. So um, I want to talk about the two very important forms of athletic training. One is endurance-based training and the second one is strength-based training. Endurance-based training is training meant to help you go for a long period of time. And usually these are your aerobic exercises such as running, swimming, cycling. Then there are strength-based athletic performance. This is this tests your ability to do something once with a lot of energy and force. This could be something like the high jump. This could be something like uh, bodybuilding. This can be something like doing a deadlift, like your one rep max. So these are the two types that I'm going to be talking about. And multiple studies, hundreds of studies have shown that caffeine is shown to have a benefit in both these types of athletic performance and athletic training is great because caffeine has been shown to help you go maybe an extra maybe like two five minutes in your endurance based workouts and give you an extra couple of reps in your strength based workouts so that i could i could link to a bunch of articles down below but there's just so many you could do a quick google search be like caffeine and its association with athletic performance research article you'll get hundreds of them in your search results it's been proven to have a benefit and usually the standard dosage that people see it being most effective because you don't want to take too much or is you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have other very very um <laughs> glaring issues but usually depending on your kilograms um you want to take between three to six um three to six milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight that you have. If you kind of want to get gauge what that is, is that I am about 140 pounds that roughly translate to about 60 kilograms. So that means I should be taking somewhere between um, 150 to 360 milligrams of caffeine before my workouts to see some form of athletic performance. But I really want to emphasize that I'm very sensitive to caffeine and I don't really uh, take that much throughout the day and I only need about maybe a hundred it's it's no like like my three milligrams is like 180 but I only need like maybe two a little bit less than two milligrams per kilogram that I am to get that athletic performance that I need so most of us were like we're who are not like professionally trained athletes we don't even need that much to begin with but if we take it maybe 20 to 30 minutes before a workout, it's definitely going to help us with our training. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I accidentally took 200 milligrams of caffeine. And for six hours straight, I felt like I was 
<laughs> my heart was about to jump out of my chest. It made me so, so uncomfortable. So I'm completely fine being a lightweight when it comes to my caffeine consumption. But more often than not, I know that a lot of people are like, yay, caffeine gives me so much energy to work out. But a lot of people have told me growing up and even now to this day is that they make this assumption that hey, if I'm drinking caffeine every day, if I'm taking caffeine every day, I'm gonna develop a tolerance and it's no longer going to work. But I'm here to tell you that recent research has shown that uh, caffeine tolerance or scientifically we call it habituation, people who, t who drink either a cup of coffee every day, it hasn't really shown a detriment to consistently consuming caffeine before workouts. It doesn't make you less sensitive to the benefits of caffeine on athletic performance. Sure, you might not consciously feel the effects as much. You might not get that hyperactivity or jumpiness that you usually get after consuming caffeine uh, for days on at a time, but studies have shown that you will still get that athletic performance boost regardless of whether or not you feel those jumpiness or effects when it comes to taking a stimulant like um, coffee. And another great standpoint is that this most recent article that was published in 2021 that looked at about a little bit more than 30 athletes, they tested both strength and endurance based training. And they also categorized the participants into a low caffeine group, a moderate caffeine group, and a high daily caffeine consumption group. And all three groups, surprisingly, even the high the people that drink a lot of coffee <laughs> every day still got the performance enhancing benefits of caffeine before a workout and yes you might say well ben it's only like 30 something 30 something like participants that's not a lot the study doesn't have a lot of power yes that's true but this isn't the only study that looked at caffeine tolerance and its effects on endurance and strength training a lot of studies have time and time shown again that habituation yes you might feel the effects actively but internally you are still benefiting for from its performance enhancing capability i'll say this myself um i take about 200 milligrams of caffeine every day every six hours because i am a healthcare worker i work a lot so to get up in the morning i wake up and i have 100 milligrams of caffeine i don't even drink coffee i go straight to caffeine pills and then about six hours later i take another 100 milligram tablet but before I work out, I'll take another 50, maybe 50 to 100 milligrams, and I'm still getting the same amount of enhancement that I would get if I didn't take caffeine. And if you would be like, well, Ben, this is anecdotes, and that's true. Uh, I am uh, telling you anecdotes, but it coincides with what the research that's been published time and time and again has been saying about caffeine. And then the days that where I completely forget caffeine, I'm like, dang, I haven't been able to rep as much as I wanted to. And then usually sometimes I even forget that I forgot to take caffeine and I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't take my caffeine before my workout. And that's why I wasn't able to hit those reps as much as I wanted. Anyways, I wanted to make this video just to kind of debunk a myth that caffeine tolerance uh, will keep you from getting that extra rep extra strength gain that you would get from drinking a cup of coffee before a workout or taking a pre-workout with caffeine in it that's not true you will still get those athletic performance enhancements but at the same time i really really have to emphasize that you uh, drink or take caffeine responsibly you drink coffee responsibly and you stick to the daily recommended of less than 600 actually less than four to six hundred milligrams depending on the type of um medical body that you're looking at a day because too much caffeine is also detrimental to your cardiovascular, your heart health. So uh, use caffeine responsibly. Just know that um, you, even though you feel like you're developing a tolerance to uh, coffee or caffeine, it's still going to be helping you with your daily workouts and making, meeting your milestones as someone who rec recreationally uh, does outdoor or indoor activities for uh, either athletic enhancement or even someone like me who, yes, I do favor athletic enhancement, but I just want to be an active individual who exercises pretty frequently. Anyways, I hope this video has helped you understand the effects of caffeine on 
not just performance, but how beneficial it is regardless of whether or not you take it every day. And I hope you will share, share this video with someone who may benefit from this information. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and activism work. And I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.